Let's talk about the functions of the Yamaha Hailmaster system. We'll talk about the switches that are on the binnacle. There are three individual tilt switches on the front. You can use those to tilt and raise and lower your engines independently. Starboard port or center if you have a triple. And there's the combination switch on the, on the shifter handle, on the port shifter handle, that you can trim or tilt all three engines or both engines simultaneously. Then there are the function switches on the back of the, of the binnacle. There's six of those and I'll go through each of them individually. There's a speed control button. When you push the speed control button, you see the light come on. That converts the front rocker switch for the center engine trim to your speed control button. This allows you to adjust your engine speed up or down by 100 RPM increments. This is especially helpful if you're in a no wake zone or if you're trolling you and you want to slightly adjust your trolling speed. Turn the speed control off. If I go down to what's called single lever, you, you'll see that that is on. If the single lever is on, then I can take the starboard engine shifter and move it out of the way and I can run all three or both engines on one shifter instead of having to manage both shifter handles. Then I turn that off. When you press the center engine button, that ensures that when you put the shifters in gear, only the center engine becomes active. This is important when you're trolling or in a no wake zone, you can adjust your speed to lower speeds very easily. Free throttle is what some of us know as is neutral. When I push the three, free throttle button, I can rev the engines up if need be without the engines being in gear. The station button chooses the station if you have an upper or lower station. Wherever you are, when you push the station button, that station becomes active and the other station becomes inactive. That way, someone up in the tower, if you have a tower, can push the station button up top and run the, run the shifter from, or the engines from up there. If he comes below, he simply pushes the sta station button down below and he can run the engines from there. Then the last button is the trim assist. We will set that at the factory, which will adjust your trim to what is normally the most efficient running attitudes at the different RPMs. You can overcome that easily simply by using the, the combination trim button or the individual trim buttons to adjust your trim to your desired position based on the conditions that you have. Next we'll talk about the joystick component of the Yamaha Hailmaster system. It combines steering, shift, and throttle into one lever. The first thing you want to do to activate the, the joystick is to push the joystick control. When you do that, the engines take a set to help control the function of the boat and the direction of the boat. With the lever, you can, do, you can go forward, you can go reverse, you can go port, you can go starboard, you can vector diagonally, and you can rotate the boat by turning the lever as if it were a steering wheel. Doing all these in conjunction with one another you can pretty much move the boat in any direction desired. You do have to remember, however, the conditions around you like current and wind will still have an effect on the boat. If the wind and current require it, there is a high mode setting that you can also use which will give the engines more power using the joystick control. So you can have that on or you can have that off. If you are in the joystick mode and you move the throttles into position, the joystick automatically goes out and you, you have control of the boat with the throttles. If you're in joystick mode and you want to come out of that without using the throttles, you simply push the button and you come out of joystick mode and now you're in control with the throttles.